a little sex what the fuck? toy or torso that I got, whatever you want to call it. I've actually named her Nicole Jr. Oh, God. What is happening? It's getting creepier and weird and cringe. <laughs> minute by minute, man. It's D Lo, hey, yeah. Clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, the team up in clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn out for what? Ooh, yeah. See that my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug. Uh huh. We in the clutch! What's going on, Clutch Squad? What up, what up, what up? Your boy, up? It's your boy, Ross. And we're in the Clutch. Hey, back to ladies and gentlemen, the bitch of the day, you feel me? He spent 30K just to be cheating on and lied to. Look, at, look how you look. Love after lockup, bro. That's how you look. You see that look? Yeah. Would man. you let this man spend 30K on you? <laughs> Does he look like he should be cheating on? <laughs> I don't know, man. Nobody Tune in deserves. next time. Nobody deserves to be cheated on, Of course right? not. At all. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Innocent, man. <laughs> All right, let's check out the great value of, uh, <laughs> what's, what did I say? Great value. Uh, Diddy's son. He looks like Diddy's son, but the great value version. He looks like Reggie Wayne. He used to play for the Colts, wide receiver. Or Marvin Harrison. Let us know who he looks like down below. Y'all don't get no Marvin Harrison, Reggie <laughs> Wayne, submerged. Oh, my God. With the dude. Hulk slap submerged. This is this is gonna be an interesting. One. I can already tell you, there's gonna be a lot of cringe. Yeah. So let's get into this. Don't laugh. This is not trying not to laugh. No, I'm just kidding. I'm about to say this is. I'm, that's what you're trying I'm to just trying to figure say. out. Man, this is a long one, man. We, we gotta... shouldn't laugh anyway, right, guys? <laughs> Sickos. All right. How many grams? 30 I guess. Wow. How much money have you spent on her in a year and a half? I don't know, ma. Some grams. How many grams? 20, 30, I guess. Wow. Ah, uh, love is in the air. It's just gonna cost you twenty or thirty thousand dollars. We've already talked about the trifecta of simpage, and let's be honest, no one's ever going to top David. But Deontay is a worthy addition to the club. Not the trifecta. I don't know, Ma, some grands. I don't know, some grands, twenty, thirty, forty. It, you can't put a price on love. I don't even keep track of it. What you don't understand, Mom, is if I keep giving her stuff and giving her money, there is a very small chance that she will sleep with me. And if that's what it takes to be Damn. in love, then that's what it takes. Wow. On what? Uh -oh. She has been incarcerated the whole time you on what commissary and stuff huh I like this little hand gesture he does as if that was a ridiculous question. What do you think she spent the money on? Jeez, she needed it. It was for cigarettes and ramen noodles. That's a high price for love. That's all I can tell you. A very high price. Yeah, his mother pretty much just tells it to him straight. And the crazy thing about this is he's already been through this before with someone else and spent like 20 or 30 grand on them as well. Oh, this wait. girl just wants to use you, okay? She told you that she went on that inmate line looking for someone wait. to take them for their money. Wait, so, yeah, what is it? Inmate what? Is that a dating site for inmates? Oh, Jesus. There's a dating site for inmates? I'm, I'm not surprised. This is once she again. She went on an inmate line to find an inmate. This is once again proof. You can find love out there, y'all. Or be find somebody out there. There's, there's somebody for anybody out there, bro. Even if it ain't real love. Because this ain't real. I can tell you that now. Inmate this girl Nicole he's talking to straight up admitted to him that she went on that website in the first place just to find people to send money to her. She also says that she didn't develop feelings for him until six months after they started talking, meaning that she saw him only as a source of money for a long time and admitted it to him. And she said she wasn't expecting to find a relationship. She said I was one in a million. You are one, one in a million. She's not buying it. What? She said you were one, one in a million? million Dude, inmates. you should totally send her like $30,000. When I first started talking to you and you sent me some money, I was like, wow, this guy's one in a thousand. And then you sent me 30 <laughs> grand and I was like, you're one in a million. So my name is Deontay. I'm in a relationship Deontay. with this beautiful blonde. I can't stand materialistic people. I can't stand shallow people. What his vibe? Okay, Ross. Like, just his demeanor. What, what did he go to jail for? What are we thinking here? 
I don't even fucking know. <laughs> I'm so confused. I have no idea what he could have possibly. Comment down below. He's real calm and patient. I yeah, know, just, John, I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think he went to jail for. Yeah. Oh, perfect. It sounds like you picked the right person. Babe, I'm so glad I have you. I just cannot stand people that are shallow and materialistic. It's a good thing you're not like that. Yeah. Anyway, here's $500. But remember, I wouldn't be giving you this money if I thought you were materialistic. I also wouldn't be buying all of these things for you Why? if I thought you were materialistic. What up, boy? What up? Chillin'. Derek is my best friend. That I've known that man boy. for 27 years. <laughs> you really bought her Michael Kors? That's what she wanted. Damn That's what she wanted. Can't stand materialistic people. How is it even possible to simultaneously hold those two thoughts? You're saying you can't stand materialistic people, and then your friend asks, why are you buying her all this stuff? And you said, because that's what she wanted. Which means that she's... All right, you know what? This is one of those guys <laughs> you could never explain this to. He's never going to see it any He's other not, way. Yeah. He's going to have to learn for himself once she completely screws him over. I like Deontay's friend here because he knows exactly what's going on, and he comes over just to laugh at the whole situation. So because you talked to her for a year and a half, she just deserves $1,000 walking out of prison. I'm on. Hell yeah. I don't think this dude's smile has gone away at any point during this entire show so far. No matter what the situation is or what mood he's in, even if he gets angry, he still has this smile on his face. I want my family or friends to just understand and not just straight judge based off the fact that this woman is an inmate. He also barely opens his mouth when he speaks. Someone in the comments of one of these videos pointed out that he would be a great ventriloquist. In fact, maybe they that's why he's stupid. able to afford to give her so much money. Maybe he's living the lavish ventriloquist. Lifestyle. My little sex what the fuck? toy or torso that I got, whatever you want to call it. I've actually named her Nicole Jr. Oh, God. What is happening? This is just, it's getting creepier and weird and cringe. <laughs> minute by minute, man. It's just getting worse. We're only three minutes. It's in. the smile and everything, yep, bro. It's just, yeah. Cunning now. Menacing. Dude, what are, you, what are you doing? I don't want to call it anything. What do you... Nicole Jr. Is she supposed to be flattered by that and not completely disturbed? Let me get you all cleaned off. How are you gonna do she's that? She's told oh, me she's never been dude, with a black guy. Come on. So. Oh. Ah, yes, we. Whoever producing the show, they know this is some funny ass shit. Oh, they know they got something good. They got something. Because people are gonna sit there and watch this and be like, look at this dumb dude. motherfucker. All right, man, let's, let's keep this going. This nigga threw it in a damn. With other dishes, bro. Like We have reached that wonderful moment where they meet for the first time in person. That's why I always say never eat at everybody's house, bro. Nah, never man. know. Man. And then they can be happy for about plates. five minutes before all <laughs> right. hell breaks loose. The honeymoon period for relationships on this show typically lasts about 15 minutes. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, not the uh, yes, uh, sir. Uh, uh, See that? Oh. All she sees is a giant dollar sign walking over to her. And you can immediately tell not that she's joke. not interested in him at all. She'll barely even look him in the eyes. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby. oh, oh my god. god. Ooh. I'm like, damn, nigga. It's a real Nicole. I don't even need Nicole Jr. right now. I got the real thing. Oh. All right, I hope that was worth $30,000 because that's pretty much all you're going to get. And I'm not even kidding. I could probably bet my life that this relationship not is not going to life. work out and still sleep fine without a care in the world. When I walked out of the prison and I saw Deontay waiting for me, it was the best feeling ever. It's my heart right here. We got it wrong. What? She was in prison. Yeah, 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 I think, yeah, she was in prison, he he never went to jail, he was talking to someone that was in jail, and he met through a, I guess, website, like, he's, it's really, uh, I don't even, I'm sorry, I'm just, it don't even fucking matter, like, I guess, bro, hey, do what you want, love is in the air, y'all, wow. we got $30,000, it's definitely in the air, you ain't let her go take a bath, normally you let people go shower, come and start out the, the, you know, the big house. Straight up. I'd be pretty excited too if I was about to get a thousand dollars and a bunch of free shit. So, I don't know if I'm gonna stay at your house tonight. It's me on know. I know that you- All right, so right away she says that she doesn't want to stay at his place, even though they already talked about that being the plan. Oh, and the most Jesus. action that this poor dude is gonna get is this glance over at her as she's taking her sweatshirt off. I know that you want me to, but I just feel like, 
of course. You don't want to say you don't have to. I just haven't seen my mom in a really long time. I also haven't seen my ex-boyfriend in a while, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to talk to him. Oh, I had planned on seeing my mom and then going to his place, but now that I'm out, my anxiety is so bad. Even being hugged is kind of making me feel uncomfortable. Oh, wow. That is so convenient. I was it just is. wondering how she was going to find a way not to sleep with him or touch him or get near him. Now, this is obviously a real thing for a lot of people, but it's total BS with her, no doubt in my mind. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is my mom's house. Sorry, so we're gonna go with me then and everything. Um, I think I'm just gonna go in here by myself. So, well, hold on, what now? Yeah, listen, you're great Look and everything, face, and I bro. appreciate all the money, but I don't like you. So there's really no reason for you to meet my mother, because you don't really mean oh very much gosh. to me. But at the same time, all that money stuff, that's cool. That's really cool. You should keep that up. I gotta, I gotta be cool. It's, it's the first day out. Bro. But at the same time, you know, I did not expect to be sleeping in my bed alone. Alone? Dude, what about Nicole Jr.? You should tell her about that. Then she'll definitely want to come over. So Nicole goes into her mother's house alone and then whips out her phone that Deontay bought for her and then starts to text her ex-boyfriend. Just because I'm in love with him doesn't mean I don't want to talk to anybody else anymore. I literally just got out of prison. I'm not married. Like, I have a lot of life oh, to live. You may not be married, but Deontay thinks you two are engaged. Can you imagine accepting 30 grand from someone and then lying to them and screwing them over this badly? I mean, she wasted no time. She was texting her ex, like, less than an hour after getting out of prison. Hey, babe. What's up, babe? Kind of felt some type of way about last night. Oh, what? I didn't want to stay with you? Wow, she really looks like she cares about what he's saying. Listen, right. dude, you hooked me up with this phone and, and you expect me not to use it and not to text my ex-boyfriend? That's... You're right. It's just... <laughs> it's just ultimate cringe. It's just, so... Just... Oh, man, this is awful. This nigga bought her the phone you, you know? and everything. The respect you got for me as a man, the respect you got for our relationship, and it's just gonna be what it is, and I just keep it in the back of my mind. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, I'm not finna argue with you today and be in a bad mood. Listen, this relationship works a lot better if you just drive me around, buy me stuff, and then just leave me alone. I feel like it's way too soon for him to be trying to have sex with me. Like, you don't even know my favorite color. You want to sleep with me and you don't even know my favorite color? Man, that's the secret right there. You, sh you gotta figure out her favorite color first. No wonder this, this has been going wrong. Her oh ex-boyfriend, now he knows her favorite so color. So right now they're going to get her hair done, which he's Mary. paying for, obviously. And as that's happening, he's gonna go buy her a bunch of stuff in another store. Mr. Beast calls himself the human ATM. Pfft. He doesn't have shit on this guy. This girl, Nicole, has pretty much created her own human ATM. And yes, now she's just trying to perfect sure. her craft. Deontay's out buying me a new dress right now. Is he? He bought me a bunch of gifts, too. He bought me two Michael Kors watches, three pairs of Jordans. Uh, Barbie does Barbie not has care. time maintenance. <laughs> I can't stand materialistic people. So what do you think of Deontay as like a person though? Like what are what do you like about him? Wait, I don't understand. Were you not listening? He gives me stuff. So people, <laughs> when they get together in relationships, typically like things about each other. What do yeah. you like about He can Deontay? learn your favorite color. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Um That's sad. Uh Deontay. Uh, I like the fact that he can't stand shallow or materialistic people. He this has no tolerance so... for that. Hey, what do you think he wants in return? I mean, I know what he wants in return, but he's not going to get it. God, she makes this guy look so bad on this show. This is really embarrassing. I, I gotta, I might have to end this. I I'm very committed you, please. to Deontay. Was she getting a so but, in? Like yeah. right before I got out, I did end up like sleeping with a girl, but I don't feel like girls is cheating because i don't know i just don't feel like it is all right even if that were a true you're still talking to your ex-boyfriend so i don't know how you could say you're above cheating or that you're not cheating it's finally time for some romance let's see if deontay can get his money's worth i will try one on but you can look but you cannot touch oh don't tease me like that but i don't have to try one on if you don't want me to no. look at this motherfucker bro wait wait, wait. this nigga wait what do you say it's just listen. Look at this nigga, bro. She gonna try a outfit on. Uh huh. He can look, but he can't touch. Let's see if Deontay can get his money's <laughs> worth. I will try one on, but you can look, but you cannot touch. 
Oh, Damn. don't tease me like that. But I don't have to try one on if you don't want me to. Nah, try, no, those ahead, rules no, are no, bad try, no, for please. you. Oh, man, this is brutal. She did that with such anger and aggression. She is completely right. disgusted by this guy. So then she dances for him and makes him sit on his own hands so that he won't be tempted. Now, obviously, David is still the king, but at this point, I would put Deontay right behind him, which means Sean has be now been yeah. bumped out of the trifecta of simpage. But it ain't over yet because he's actually in another season coming up, so we'll see what happens there. Oh. So in this clip, they all go out to eat and Deontay invites his friend and Nicole invites her friend from prison. Then she decides it would be a good idea her to friend invite friend. her ex-girlfriend as well. Why not? Oh, oh, okay. I got it. Nobody. Who, who is nobody? My friend might come tonight. What friend? I just have to say again, this dude is awesome because he knows this old girl, the 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 hairstylist and the friend. I I have no idea, bro. I'm just I'm just ready for this. Was exactly what is going on, and he completely tears this entire thing apart. Have you slept with her? Oh, wait, how did Deontay look? He was so surprised. Oh, damn, damn, damn. No, you need to answer that damn question. All he had to do was ask one question to completely throw her off. One question that Deontay never bothered to ask. I know that. She Serious right now? Like how he when was this? I slept with her like one time. It makes sense to say like three or four times, but she said like one right. time, which clearly means it was more than that. Because you remember if it was only one time. But I can't even touch the mother <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, dude, don't you remember? I can't even touch it. You can't even put your little fingertip on it. Can't even see it. Damn. You stuck with Nicole Jr., bro. She has anxiety about touching you only. How many times did you do the nasty in prison? You want to know the truth? Uh -oh. Yes, please. Oh, that's how you know it's a lot. All right, hold on. Wow, That's she got to multiply times two, carry the four. I don't even have anything to add. This guy is, is hilarious. They Bro, should have this guy talk to every single couple on the show. funny, okay, dog. Six, wow, that kid keeps going up. Six, and I was she dating was four of them. Oh, all they God, how long was she in jail? Okay. She wants you now. She said she was dating four of them. <laughs> Bro, yes, is, I did hear it. And now if you'll excuse me, I think I'm he, just going to melt into the floor and disappear. Oh. So literally right after this conversation, she steps outside to call her ex-girlfriend. Yo, who the f*** are you talking to? Did oh. he just spawn next to her? What? He did what spawn. Right now, the the messed up collar. What do you mean? Yeah, man. Embarrass me in front of my boy. Wow, he's finally standing up for himself. Finally, it's right. Too late, but it's good yeah. that he's finally doing it. So she is clearly very manipulative and is gaslighting him on this whole situation, mm -hmm. acting like, "What are you talking about? Nothing's yeah. happening. Nothing's happening." Why is it so hard for you to spend one night oh. with me? That makes me uncomfortable. But you ain't uncomfortable with me spending my. Oh, money. there you go, boy. Yes, let's go. Holy story. Deontay. Let Finally. It and then he gonna go back yeah, to do some dumbass sim, sim shit. shit. Watch. Oh shit. You two are supposed to be in love and she's uncomfortable to spend a night with you. Now, if there was some sort of experience or reason as to why she felt that way, it would make sense. But clearly she's saying that only with you. All right. So the next clip we're going to look at is when he finally meets her mother. Hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> what the fuck? It's Hello? like he, <laughs> it's look like he wasn't even supposed to pull up. They ain't greet the man. They ain't nobody open the door. Like what the hell? That is when he finally meets her mother. Hello. She oh, was just hey. so. Awkward. Look how he just appears there, staring blankly. Come in. Hello. He looked like the one that went Hello? to prison, bro. Hello. Um, how are you, sir? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. You look a little scared. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why he came in that way and was just Halloween? staring without breaking eye contact yeah, at all. It's weird, yeah. bro. I am nervous as all hell. <laughs> She's got that mom teacher stare where she stares into your eyes. Look like you were the staring. one staring. Yeah. I don't know, maybe she was staring too. I don't you guys are all just staring at each other and yeah, Nicole's it's... over there staring at the phone that Deontay paid for. Don't talk about me. Well, first off, I know it's kind of weird how I uh, how I met Nicole, um, who goes online and looks for prisoners for love, right? Wow, you're making a really good pitch for yourself right there. I love Nicole, and um, he loved I don't me. know if she told you, but we're we're engaged. 
streets is done, bro. Like, bro, I tell you, it's he went from arguing and putting the laying the law down to, to now you simping back again. What she do, man? She touched your knee. Oh Jesus! In this, man. I'm sorry for that. She didn't tell her because apparently he Nicole didn't even know no. they were engaged. Now, yeah. she could be lying, but I could also see how Deontay would think they were engaged based on some sort of misunderstanding. Yeah. Oh, gosh, he didn't tell you. Did he do it? Y'all are engaged. Well, if by engaged you mean I give her money and then she talks to other people behind my back, then yes. Yeah. All right, so the next clip we're going to look at, Deontay engaging. and Nicole get into a huge argument about, well, you will see. What's that? My boob appointments. <laughs> I got the price sheet right here. Don't act mad because you literally know that boobs are thousands of dollars. Oh boy, here we go again. She won't even touch you, yet she wants you to buy her fake boobs so other people can touch them. Please, Deontay, I'm no, losing Deontay, my please. sanity here. No, no. About this Deontay, this is no. It's actually really cheap, $6,000, but guess what? It's cheap! You. Deontay, if you don't say, give me my phone and get the fuck up out of here, bro. You done. Oh, uh, you... I'm Come on, stealing your black car, bro. <laughs> Please, Deontay. Please. I thought it was going to be eight, so I was like, ooh, this is good. Oh, baby, that's a lot of money. Hey, babe, why don't you use some of that 30 grand that I sent you to pay for it? Oh, you didn't save any of it? You spent it all in prison? Oh, that's okay. I totally understand. Ramen noodles can get expensive. Facts. But you said right. you're going to pay it. Especially when you're a girl. I don't know what I you, said. But you literally, like, I'm irritated because you just got me so excited and you don't even have the money to pay for it. I don't have any money because I sent it all to you. Why don't you pay for it? I don't, I don't have nerd. shit anymore. You took everything. It's just wow. me and Nicole Jr. now. Well, if I got to bust my ass at work or not pay my rent, I will figure it out. You would not pay your uh, bills to pay for my boob job? That's what it takes to keep you satisfied. Oh! Give me his car, bro. His black car has been revoked. He, he, we don't, we don't, we don't associate with him, bro. Bro, it, he is it, not invited to the cookout. Take the Tay off your name. Man. Your name is Dayon. Like, nah, it ain't bro. even. Oh, this bro. nigga say, if that's what I got to. You know, he's not even, I don't, I don't think any race would want him. He's a part of the simp race. He just, and there's no yeah. helping them. That's it. He's a part of the simp look race. Look at her, bro. bro. Just look at this look. She. Oh. This I is got the him one right where I'm on him. Infuriating videos I've ever watched on Oh, no. Oh, I'm okay. legit upset. That makes me a little happy. Think about this for a second. Please. She's saying it makes her happy to know that you won't be able to pay rent he can't stand because you're giving her money. She is happy if you are miserable and unable to pay your bills as long as she's getting what she wants. He said, if I got to oh. bust my ass. Tia's birthday, I forgot. <sighs> I need to call her and say happy birthday. Oh, here we go again with the ex-girlfriend. To you. Yeah. The same one you used to date. You just still communicate with this person. I mean, she's my friend, Deontay. I wouldn't do stuff like that. Listen, if you ever want to see my fake boobs that you're going to buy for me, then you better be nice. I'm trying to come take care of you. <laughs> but if I was in there talking to my ex, it'll be a problem. I don't want to meet his mom. Come get me. So now she's in the other room using the phone that he paid for, calling her ex to come pick her up. What the is this? Oh no, she's found Nicole Jr. Oh my god, not he's good. So <laughs> Did I just hear her say what? She has been looking for a reason to get angry with him or to break it off with him, and she has just found it. She's supposed to be meeting his mother tonight, by the way, too. I walk over here, it's underneath the bed. When I was in prison, Deontay told me that he had a sex toy. Oh, the thought of him. This thing just, it, it creeps me out. All right, maybe the uncomfortable thing wasn't bullshit after all. He's sitting in here in my house making a joke out of me. Still so smiling. Bitch, <laughs> Were you sitting in here? I heard all that. What I, I want you to come Please get me. I want you to come get me. Oh, okay, that. oh, so I'm just here. No, you right. are tripping. I asked you to come and get me. You are tripping. I didn't say come and get me. I asked her to come and get me. I asked her to come and get me. I heard what you said. Yeah, because I just found that dumbass sex. Oh, f that. Oh, f that. You're trying to. Doll is freaking me out. I don't even 
really know what to say anymore. Well, first off, she said that she wanted to leave before she even found that thing. So that's that's just a lie right there. Secondly, right. dude, that is the creepiest shit ever. Don't do that. Especially don't tell her about it and don't name it after her. And yeah. especially don't tell her mother about it, which yeah. actually happened. But I did not have a clip of it. So in this final clip we're going to look told. at here, Deontay drops her off at her mother's house as usual. But he notices that she sat out on the front porch on her phone, which he found to be unusual. He suspects that she's about to meet up with her ex, so he parks down the street to spy on her. And sure enough, some dude shows up. I guess he doesn't make her uncomfortable. You know who I am, bro? Nah, I'm, I'm a man, dog. I'm the <laughs> she was just with five minutes ago. I feel like oh, I'm gonna throw Jesus. up. My heart's pounding. I do have to give this guy some credit for standing up for himself, oh, especially right in front of her ex. What's up, Nicole? I'll explain to you. You serious? She you said I'll explain mama, to bro. you later. You know what I've been through. And you gonna do me like that? Mm. After all this I done did for you? You serious? Hey babe, whenever you're done flipping out, can you give me some money? Cause I think we're gonna go pick up a bottle of wine for our date night. She went into prison, but we definitely kept in a communication, you know, throughout the whole time. Give me my mother cell phone. There give we go! Cell phone right. Oh, you don't wanna give me the phone? Back, keep the phone. I'm a deactivator. Yeah. So this seems like it should be the end for these two, Finally. but I almost guarantee that Deontay is gonna go back to her. In the episode no, coming up, it showed him saying that he still thinks that she's in love with him and that he's in love with her. I mean, I Clap guess soon, I guess you bro. can't stop Clap. true love. That's soon. clearly what this is. All right, well, that's all I got for this one. Thanks for stopping by and watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this mess. I will hopefully see you. Yeah. This nigga said, don't worry, I'll deactivate it just to be back in the next episode. I and reactivate it. I'm done with That was video. a lot to unpack, man. Like, I, I just can't. I don't know. Shout out to one of the... Uh, the um, Patreon. I oh, know uh, Discord. Discord members yeah. for sending it to us to react this to. Is, this Appreciate is cringe. you. I'm done. Uh, I checked out. I don't know what to say, bro. Like, Deontay is out of there. I did laugh at one of the comments up until reading it. Someone said, Deontay is clearly not playing with the full deck of cards, and she's clearly taking advantage of that. I bust out laughing before I even watched the video at that comment, and now I see why. He's definitely... We may have to check out another one, man. Sean drops 100K just to get punched in the head. Yeah. And then David is the, the king one. The king Davis. simp. Yeah, yeah. So we may have to check out the trifecta of simps. Yeah, so, David's Desperate Love Saga. 98, 98 Fiance. All right, yeah. We, gonna, we, we definitely going to be checking out some of these yeah. simps out here. So if y'all want us to do more and y'all can stomach the amount of cringe in these videos, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below. Yeah, Let us know sure. y'all want us to check out some more of the mega ultra simps because they are out there. Oh, yeah. Spending all their money. And they're uniting, bro. Oh, my God. Anywho, we love you guys. Continue to spread love below. Catch y'all in the next video, man. In the clutch, we out. Peace out. All righty. This bitch is from Houston. If she got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.